I mean, in the humblest way possible, honestly, I would believe him because there's been a lot of times where I've had, you know, just a couple of points, maybe or even zero in the first half and, uh, you know, pop off the second half and, you know, lead the team to scoring. So, you know, I just try to stay with that same mindset, though, that I had in the first half, even though the shots weren't falling in the first half. Um, you know, I was still confident in my teammates trusting me, most importantly, and uh, just, you know, just kept putting them up. For any of you guys, I mean, I was really, I was really impressed with how you guys were working the shot clock down. And the bench said 10, down to 5, even within two seconds, you guys were creating shots, hitting them. So, how much does that go to practice and all the work you guys put into the things? Yeah, I mean, uh, we practice that in practice, so I'm just running through our offense, getting to the second, third action. And the bench energy in this game was off the charts. That was helping us. And they're always screaming out the shot clock, so we know how much time's left. So, I mean, we put in the work and practice doing it, and then we just execute in the game, so. I'm not sure which one of you guys had guard number one, but he came into the game in 48 of 49 free throws in league play, and he was over two today. So, keeping him off, off the free throw line, how was that key to the game? Yeah, just guarding the ball first off, you know, from the guards up top, um, you know, he's obviously a guard, he's on the wing. So, you know, we're definitely locked in on him, one of their uh, most important guys, their best players. Um, and just guarding the ball, keeping him in front, leaving his free throws and fouls. So, yeah. Anybody, what's it like to have a game that doesn't go down to the wire? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it feels good to just play actually like we played together for the whole 40 minutes and actually uh, focus on defense and our that's our identity um, is defense so we knew if we um, started doing that better then things like the offense transition would be better and uh, we would start getting out and running more so but yeah it, it feels honestly feels good not to have a tight game at home and having that crowd up. Yeah, this, this is a there were a team that scores a bunch of points during the season you hold, you hold them to one of the lowest Point of the year, so what was the key on defense tonight? Uh, just our normal defense, really, just defense is our identity. So we just want to get after them, dictate what they do. And I mean, we work on that every day in practice, just our defense. And I mean, that's what we did. We went out there, we, we made them do things that they don't want to do. We made them uncomfortable. And at the end of the day, we got a bunch of steals and got on transition, got some easy buckets. Trey, um, you had the house scoring. What can you say about how I'm ready to when a bunch of people are competing and, of course, put a lot of pressure on the opposing defense? <clears throat> yeah, we, um, we're just knocking down a lot of shots, and um, it feels good when <clears throat> we're knocking down shots at the end of the clock. Um, yeah, like I said, it's like getting our second, third action, getting those shots, uh, making those shots. Um, late in the clock feels good, you know, gets the crowd into it too, especially late in the game, so. And Trey, kind of to build off of that one there, uh, oh, struggle's not the right word, but as you guys are battling that first half, my math is correct, you hit 11 points in a row, kind of kept the team in there. Just kind of take us through your stretch right there and what was working for you. Uh, yeah, I missed my first one and it felt good, so I was like, uh, if I, they find me again, I'm going to shoot this. And then uh, I think LJ found his first one and then Trey's like two in a row. Teammates were just finding me, his shots were knocking, like, knocking down the shots and it just felt good coming out the hand. And Sam, to bounce it over to you, another strong effort there. Obviously, the steals, rebounding has been there all year. The points totals are starting to stack up now, too. Uh, what's working for you out there as well? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just putting in extra work, getting in the gym uh, at nighttime, just getting shots up after practice, working with the coaches, working with the GAs. And my teammates just keep on telling me, keep shooting the ball, it's going to fall. My coaches are telling me that. So, I mean, just staying confident in myself and seeing them fall feels good. And hopefully they keep on going. Oh, I got one real quick, guys. I mean, you're uh, ranked with PFW preseason number one. How does it feel to have you know commanding victory over them, over them here at home? Uh, we know they're a good team, so we knew we had to come in and uh, actually come in and battle. Like it was going to be a grinded out game, the same as uh, Thursday when we played Cleveland State. But uh, we know they're a good team, and we had to uh, come and compete like any other game, and it was a big game for us. But it feels good to uh, come out, kind of set a statement, and uh, we just got to keep building on this and taking it a game at a time.